Hey friends, it's Kaylee Berg. Welcome to my new studio, as in for real, today is the tour. Yay, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. I love my new space. You know, it takes me a little while to get everything just right, but I've got it all gussied up and in beautiful condition just to show it off for you today. I know my uh, last little studio tour in my bungalow was one of my most popular videos, so if you haven't seen that, check that out because that space is really cool. But this space is awesome too, you guys. I'm in the back of Pololo Valley. It's so nice, peaceful. I literally just hear the birds chirping all day my, the hole behind our house is like just greenery it's amazing I have a whole garage space I can use like I can really breathe in here everything is much more organized it's you know tiny house living is fun but it is exactly that it is tiny and uh, I started to kind of grow out of it a little bit with just making more art and more art making supplies and stuff like that so anyways I'm really excited to show you guys the new digs I'm gonna show you a little bit of my artsy collection and stuff like that so I hope you enjoy it if you do make sure you pop that subscribe button it helps to grow my channel and it makes sure you come back over and over and over again hope you guys enjoy my little happy house here on Oahu Mwah. thanks for being here So we'll start off the tour around my easel area since that's the place you guys normally see. I've got this great big piece of glass that I use for mixing all my paint. I love it so much and I like to categorize my brushes by size and shape so I've got a few little jars for those. I keep my medium handy as well as my paint thinner and then this is the jar that I'm currently working on putting all my paint scraps in. So I pretty much always have sage or incense burning and candles. I just really like to create a nice mood in my studio all the time. I got Mr. Rogers making a cameo on my inspo wall. I've got so many little collected pieces here and there. And I don't know what it is, but lately I've been so obsessed with like jars and plates. I basically store everything on plates or in jars throughout my room. So this is sort of like my main little work station. I know it's kind of small, but it gets the job done. You can see it's plenty stained from past projects, but I really love this little wooden table. It's so sturdy. I found it on the side of the road when I first moved to the island, and it's been great this whole time. All right, this is kind of the nitty gritty where I store a lot of my stuff, but this space used to be so flippant crowded before I moved here, you guys. I had to store like every single like creative, constructive, whatever piece of equipment that I had, I had to basically store under here. And now I don't have to because I have all this space in the garage. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you that, but check it out. So the way I like to categorize my oil paints is by color. So I have six different jugs, depending on what color it is. I have my dirty oil rags that need to be properly disposed of. I have the current ones that I'm still using. And then every artist has a million little tubes and bottles and glues and turpenoids and kinds of things like that. So I just like to have everything on a shelf space where I can see it and grab it very easily. Now down here, same thing. I try to keep things organized. I've got my gold leafing over here. Anytime I need to get something, I know right where it is. I've got some little industrial brushes, foam brushes. I make sure to have all of my sandpaper handy. It just makes life so much easier when you don't have to think. You can just grab exactly the tool that you need. I also love these little guys for all the screws and nails. This space especially makes me breathe easier. It used to be so crowded and congested back here when I was in the bungalow because all the crapola that you will see in the garage used to have to fit under here. So now I just have a few odds and ends that don't really fit other spaces, but I can see them anytime I need to grab something, it's right there. And here's my easel. I actually brought this to the island with me. I believe it's an Italian brand. It's called Maybeth and it has really stood up over the last few years. I love it because I can break it down, fold it up and take it with me wherever. And I feel so fortunate to have these beautiful valley views just outside my window. And what art studio is complete without a little bit of greenery? This is one of my favorite walls. I really took the time to pick out each piece and make it fit just right. And you might notice somebody who looks a little familiar at the top. That's right, it's your girl Kaylee Bird. I actually do some figure modeling for various drawing sessions here in Honolulu and so a few of my fellow artist friends has gifted me with work that they've done of me. It's so exciting to see yourself through the eyes of another artist. And there's another painting of me and this one is one that I completed at an atelier program in Argentin Chateau, France. I had about 25 hours with the live model to paint this one. So I really like to have a lot of inspiration around me where I paint some things like this octopus 
and manatee I painted in gouache and some things like this hula hooping me um, are items that I have traded. I even like to frame postcards sometimes that are very beautiful and really tickle my fancy. Of course I've got my dad in my studio because he was my original artist and I've always had a healthy fascination with death and bones and skulls and you know just a slight morbidity so whenever I can get my hands on a cool one I keep them. I really like to give credit where credit is due so make sure you check out my corresponding blog post and I will show you where some of these other artworks came from. And here is the star of the show, my super awesome elevated bed. I love this thing so much. It adds so much storage to my room. Basically, it's storage units on the outside over here on the left. And then on the right, I have an actual desk and you can crawl up underneath there for even more storage units underneath. I love this thing. And check this out. I just scored this from the thrift store. Oh my goodness. Best $7 I've ever spent, y'all. And don't lie, you know you love my drapes and my pillowcase that I made from an old tapestry that ripped. And if you're curious about my super special little buddy Bankman over here, he is one of my best friends and I actually made him. I used to have a company before I moved out to Hawaii, um, Sock Monster Posse, where I made sock monsters out of all kinds of different socks. Each one was one of a kind and unique and had his own name. And I really made like, God, multiple hundreds woo if not like a thousand of them by the time my business is done and they went all over the country and some of them all over the world so um, I'm thinking about maybe bringing them back here and there so if you guys are interested in possibly snagging your own one-of-a-kind very best friend you adopt them you do not buy them um check down below I'll have a link and I'll let you guys know the next time I do a drop yay I love you baby so much organization in my room is available because of this elevated bed. I love it so much. It's almost like not even having a bed in my room. So on this side, just real briefly, I have everything I need for shipping, all nice, neat, and compact. I like to be as organized as I can. I've got everything to wrap up artwork and get it ready to go. I've also got some prints and a few other current projects. Just knowing where everything is right when I need to grab it makes my life so much easier. I can't even tell you, especially for living and working in the same space, you really have to keep things organized. Here's my toolkit. and Oh my gosh, I love this hammer. Look at how funny this is. I got it at a Habitat for Humanity and it's like some super old hammer with a broom handle. Oh, it's so funny. I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. The stupid hammer needed a home and I was the one that was going to love it. <laughs> Every single thing has its place. So not only does being very organized give you peace of mind, but for me personally, it makes me feel very connected to my mom as well as my late grandmother. They are both hyper organized people. And when I open up my drawers and everything has its place and looks just so, honestly, I feel closer to both of them. So this Ikea piece was a pretty rad Craigslist score I found out here. We don't have Ikeas on Oahu, so it's not easy to get this type of furniture, but this thing has so much storage. Honestly, my bed would not have worked without it. And what good does having this fabulous elevated bed do you if you can't go underneath it? That's right. Come on under it and look at how I organize. My crazy elevated bed. I know it seems like a really strange place to welcome you guys, but oh my gosh, without all this extra storage space, I don't even think I'd be able to make this place work. Like, it's so awesome. I have all this that I need, all kinds of like extra painting supplies and sewing things. I mean, it's not like I'm hanging out under here or having a cup of tea or whatever, but it's certainly not difficult just to crawl up under here as I need, and uh, yeah. Be comfortable getting what I need to grab. I even put in these little lights too just so I'm able to see everything. <laughs> and if you can't tell already, your girl likes to sell a lot of her own clothes. So I've got plenty of storage for both of my machines. I've got all of my fabrics nice and neatly organized by style, type, as well as things that need to be fixed. I guess I would call my aesthetic mostly the found slash dead slash natural object. I don't know. <laughs> 
Check out these amazing dry leaves and things that I find when I'm out hiking. I swear, sometimes being out here on Oahu is like being on another planet. I would say the number one key to living small as well as having any kind of home workspace is go vertical. So when I'm not editing or blogging or whatevering at my favorite local coffee shop, this is my little tiny computer desk that I use while I'm at home. I love it. It's so tiny and it really forces me to keep it very clean. And if you're curious about my crazy looking chair or why I have my desk set up the way that I do, check around for links because I have a video all about ergonomic studio habits, both while you're sitting and standing at your easel. And one of my favorite decorations are these awesome vegetable prayer flags, a fellow artist screen printed just for me. And check this out. Oh my gosh, my closet is so big. My last place did not even have a closet and this one is like massive. I love it. And check these out. I scored these awesome metal racks from the thrift store. I think they're actually supposed to be for holding up like folders or heavy paper or something, but they work so well for my thick paintings. I absolutely hate having to stack things on the floor and letting them get chipped and damaged. These racks were like a game changer. And of course the other side of my massive new closet and you know everything is hyper organized back there. I didn't have a full length mirror for like a year and a half. So when I moved in and realized that this was my closet space, uh, yeah, I was pretty freaking happy. <laughs> Here we are, guys, in my wonderful little studio. I love it so much. It's a great space. It's quiet. I just listen to the birds chirp and paint away all day. And I kind of lucked out because mine is the only bedroom that has direct outdoor access. It's great for catching the breeze and for coming out to visit all my little happy plants that I brought from the bungalow. And you know they have been multiplying. I'm just so in love with all my greenery from my beautiful jade plants to some of the mosses I've been collecting now. And check these out. These beautiful little trees all grew from a single leaf about a year and a half ago. I just love my plants. And my housemates said that they just loved that they really livened up the place. And your girl loves to cook, so I've got some fat leaf oregano and basil going too. And you really can't beat this as far as backyards go. This is the view right behind my house. And just behind that brush right there is actually a stream. You can't hear it all the time, but when it's been raining, it's the most beautiful sound. I'm telling you, peaceful barely describes it here. So while I'm showing you outside, I figured I'd give you a quick peek at the neighborhood. So most of the areas or districts out here on Hawaii are split up by their geographic formations, namely hills and valleys. I live in Palolo Valley, so this whole area is just called Palolo. Now back inside to my lovely, quiet, spacious home. I could literally fit like three of my bungalows in just the living room area alone. I really love it. And my housemates are both working creatives. They stay busy, we keep the place clean, we get along really great, it's fantastic. And by the way, look who got invited to put her artwork all over the walls. Thank you fellas for making me feel so welcome. And speaking of space, check out Garage Galore. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I can use all this area for doing my projects. And look at all this storage. Oh my gosh, all of this stuff used to have to fit inside or right out front of my bungalow. Oh, it's a dream being here. Thanks so much for joining me on my happy little nest today, guys. If you are curious about the more personal aspect of what it's like to be a working artist, check down below for a link to my Birds of a Feather monthly letter where I send out a personal little note about the ups and downs of this working artist's life every month. Make sure you pop that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.